classification of proteins in my last class i already discussed about proteins and the classification of amino acids okay here we are discussing about the classification of proteins so what are proteins proteins are polymers of alpha amino acids proteins are polymers of alpha amino acids okay which are connected together or connect to each other by peptide linkage okay and connected each other by peptide linkage next what do you mean by peptide linkage peptide linkage means an amide is formed between two alpha amino acids by the removal of water molecule let us see that first amino acid alpha amino acid plus okay two amino acids and from this one water molecule is removed see one water molecule is removed and formed an amide okay c o n h c h r c o o h okay this is amide or peptide linkage hmm peptide linkage amide group this is amide group okay so amide is formed from two alpha amino acid if two amino acids react the linkage formed will be a dipeptide linkage okay next one more alpha amino acid reacts with this and form tripeptide amino acid okay till that will be tripeptide linkage then tetrapeptide linkage and so on okay so polypeptide means if more than 10 amino acids reacts and form a compound okay polypeptide polypeptide means more than 10 amino acid okay now what are proteins we know that proteins contain a very higher molecular weight quite is a higher molecular weight per compound and it contains polypeptide linkage okay so if more than 100 alpha amino acids okay if more than 100 amino acids or alpha amino acids reacts and form and having uh, so proteins contains more than 100 um, alpha amino acids having a higher molecular mass having a higher molecular mass okay higher than 10000 q molecular mass higher than 10000 u u is a unit okay is a protein okay so protein contains more than 100 alpha alpha amino acids and it is a higher molecular mass organic material okay so there are certain proteins which are having fewer i mean alpha amino acids like insulin insulin contains only 51 amino acids okay depending upon their shape and function proteins are of two types fibrous proteins and globular proteins first let us discuss about fibrous proteins fibrous
these proteins are thread like molecules they are thread like molecules lying side by side and form fibers okay okay so next these polypeptide chains are extended it contains polypeptide chains and they are extended and these polypeptide chains run parallel to each other and are held together by hydrogen and disulfide bonds polypeptide chains run parallel to each other run parallel okay and these are held together by hydrogen and disulfide bonds okay next they are insoluble in water insoluble in water and they are inactive they are inactive inactive okay for example they are chemically inactive examples keratin example keratin in skin nails etc skin nails etc then myosin myosin in muscles another example is another example fibroin in silk okay fibroin in silk these are some of the examples okay second type is globular proteins globular means the polypeptide chain is folded the polypeptide chain present in proteins here the polypeptide chain is folded twisted and looped okay and they give a spherical shape and gives a spherical shape okay such proteins are called as globular proteins another property is they are soluble in water they are soluble in water okay examples they are chemically reactive they are chemically reactive examples chemically reactive examples hemoglobin hemoglobin then egg albumin okay egg albumin then enzymes hormones like insulin etc okay and these are chemically reactive 